Hey there, it's Mark, and welcome to Truckin' Tuesday on Race Grooves TV. I have a brand new Hot Wheels Super Rigs. It is called District Transport. <laughs> it's so simple. It looks so small. It comes with Sky Dome. You probably have a Sky Dome version. I don't remember if that one is unique to this package. It does look like it has a color pattern that resembles the cab on the truck. The cab's pretty interesting. This reminds me of like on the shipping docks or out on a big construction yard. This big cab area, I bet you that's air conditioned so that you can work in comfort. We know this is gonna have a very good turning radius. There's nothing gonna be in the way to bump into the cab. The trailer looks like it has plenty of room to swing around. We'll test that out anyways. Something I was noticing, and this right here, see the square? It almost looks like it's supposed to do something there. I don't know. We'll be checking that out. Another thing I noticed is see the rivets? They're orange. Well, that's that part right there connected to the base. But what about what about the white part? How is the white part connected? Or does the white part come off? Hmm. Usually up here on the back of the package, it usually shows the special features of the truck. But there's nothing there. Not only that, it has all these languages. <laughs> so many languages. I think this is an international package. Here's the other truck shown on the back of the package. I think I've reviewed all of them. I think I did the Sky Show rig. It's hard to remember, I've done so many videos. When I do my Truck and Tuesday videos, they go in a Truck and Tuesday playlist, no matter what channel I do them on. It could be an old video from Race Grooves, or a new one from Race Grooves TV, or maybe one I did on Mr. Grooves. I put them in that Truck and Tuesday playlist. I just noticed the wheels are far back from the front of the model. Notice the driver sits in front of the wheels. I'll get some others to compare, but normally the wheel's like over here. Let's go ahead and open it up. Jump. You missed. I don't know if the District Transport Super Rigs has any special features. We'll find out. We know that Sky Dome has a special feature. The canopy, you can lift it up. And then you can imagine you just jump in there and uh, drive on off, eh? Let's test the turning radius first this time because it sure has plenty of room to move around. Wow, that's a lot of room. Let's go ahead and drive. And look, it's not, sometimes, sometimes it's too tight. And then when you turn the truck, the whole thing goes like this. But this time, no, no, look at that. Very nice. No squeaky wheels either. Listen. I think this is a brand new truck. I don't remember seeing it before. I could be mistaken, to be honest with you. Because on the back of the package, it showed it to its second. It didn't show it first. As you can see, there's two seats, but only this side appears to have some type of steering wheel. Does it have a steering wheel? Yeah, something kind of like a steering wheel. But how, how do you get in? How do you get in? I tried to pop this up right here, because it has this. Couldn't get this to pop up, pop open. Maybe you go, well, now you know the, Now you know for sure that they made this a lot better because before I was afraid I was going to break it every time I went to take it apart. Wow, that's very much improved. Okay, back to getting in. Maybe that's a door. I'm not sure. Maybe that's how they get in through the back. And check this out. What is that? Hmm, I don't know. Does this come off? Uh, no, look, there's, uh, there's like two sides. It doesn't come off, and it's, uh, hmm. Oh, look at this, it's coming apart. Let's check that out. Wow, now you can carry a wide load. I just happen to have this Matchbox dump truck. It's pretty wide. See how wide it is compared to Sky Dome? We can put it this way. It's easier to tell. <laughs> look how much wider. It's a lot wider. So Sky Dome, obviously, it fit before. When we opened the package, it was in there. Now that you, wow, let's see. Maybe some of our wider models will get transport now too. Wow, lots of room. I wonder how long it is. Sky Dome is this long. This is a new version of Surf and School Bus. You might have seen my casting change video on Mr. Grooves. Let's see, does this fit? 
it's it's skinny. No, well, it's not skinny. It's the same width as this. So we knew it would fit before, but let's see if this is long enough to fit longer models. They made it wider to fit wider models. Let's see. Wow. Let's close this up and see if it would fit. Wow, look at that. Holds them nice and tight too. Let's take a look at the bottom underneath the trailer. That darker piece, that's metal. So that's the metal part of that. You can see the district transport name. They put the name under the cab as well, but that part's plastic. This is the metal part on the super rig. You might be wondering, yeah, but where's the motor? I'll talk about that next. Hey, I just noticed. Look how much longer fossil freight is than the other trucks. You can see I have them all backed up to the package and fossil freight is definitely longer than the others. Now what about the motor? I don't see a motor. I'll bet you this whole thing is battery. I'll bet you it's a battery operated vehicle. By the way, DT, District Transport, District, gotta get that in there. District tra Transport, District Transport. This one is probably going to be a battery operated model. Let's bring in fossil freight. We know fossil freight has a motor. It's in his math. Math. Mouth. What about this one? Oop. <laughs> Sorry, fossil freight. Fell off the table. This one tuned up right here. You can see gas tanks or fuel tanks. So this one would be definitely a combustion engine. Let's bring in Cruising Illusion. See, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this one. It's too snug. You can't turn. It keeps sticking. There you go. It's loosening up. Yeah, this one. This one has fuel tanks as well. I don't remember if I showed you the second color of Cruising Illusion. I like it very much. To be honest, I probably like this color combination better, but it's up to you. Remember I mentioned where the axle is placed on the vehicle? See how far back it is? This one, look, it's all the way up at the front. All the way up at the front. Da -da 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 -da. Even the ones on the back of the package. Way in the front, way in the front, way in the front. Hey, you again, I already showed you. I mainly point that out to show how cool it is to get different kinds of trucks. Sometimes you see something in the store, it looks so simple, and it's like, yeah, what's the big deal? It's like, this is, this, this is a lot more exciting than I thought it was going to be. Sorry, McQueen, you don't fit. Hang on, let me help you out. There you go. Thanks for watching. Have fun with your toys. Bye, bye.